What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here with the Diamond Select Gladiator Hulk statue. You guys saw me do the Thor. Well, this is the companion piece that goes to create that diorama. Uh, this is number 473 out of only 800 made. And I mentioned these are more on the affordable side, but this is still a big boy. It retails $500 and it's a big piece. So before we get started, though, we are doing a giveaway once we hit 90,000 subscribers. We're giving away this Supergirl Premium format by Sideshow Collectibles, so stay tuned to the end of the video and you can see how to enter. Alright guys, very similar to the Thor art box, you have a picture of the statue on all sides, same type of Thor Ragnarok aesthetics, and again you can see the diorama that they put together on the back, so looking good. Let's go ahead and get Hulk out the box. Alright, so just like with Thor, we have the COA, the Certificate of Authenticity. Like I said, 473. Well, this is out of a thousand made, but I guess I didn't make as much because the box only says 800. All right, very similar base to Thor's with the same type of Colosseum, the same type of steam coming up with that translucency. This one has a little bit more going on. It looks a little larger. All right, then we have Gladiator Hulk. He's pretty much all one piece. Just his hand with the uh, with his hammer is not here. Nice weight to him. You got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to have to take a look at it when we do the review. But, uh, yeah, looking good. And lastly, like I said, the hammer with his fist. Only three pieces to this statue. Pretty uh, efficient. So it looks like it pegs in. Cool. All right, now how does this guy key in? So his two legs have holes here. All right, got him in, no problems. Let's go ahead and get this hammer going. And there we have it, all snugged in. Absolutely love this scene from Ragnarok. They showed it in the trailer. Everybody knew it was straight from the comics, and I think it definitely delivered in the movies. And it's funny how the MCU has always had this Thor Hulk rivalry, like they fight in multiple movies. So it was really fitting how they fought here, and I thought it played out really great. Looking at this statue, yeah, he's a big boy. I mean, you know, we want to say this is more affordable, even though it's still $500, but you got to think about it. Like, the big maquettes, the big quarter scale hulks are over a thousand now. You're looking at like twelve to sixteen hundred, so it's definitely relative. Uh, and he is a tall piece. He stands about twenty four inches tall. The width about thirteen inches, and the depth is about fifteen inches. So he's a big boy. A lot going on. Again, I don't really know why they chose to go with this kind of steam that's gripping onto the rocks. I don't really remember that from the movie. But um, it definitely makes both of these pieces, the Hulk and the Thor, very dynamic. I like the clear translucency of the steam in the base. And then you have a very similar uh, concrete broken up rock base. This time you have this big hammer that's stuck there in the rock. And then you have Hulk. Looks like he's... Uh, leaping up to, to drop the hammer on Thor, which is pretty ironic. So he has a very kind of jungle green look to his skin. You know, we recently did the Hulk transformation, which was like an avocado skin. Same with the Sideshow maquette. This one's more of a solid comic book looking green, which I think works here. You have a very thick looking Hulk. You can see he's got these huge legs, veins going through his thighs. He's got them sandals <laughs> with the straps going all around him. You know, you got some attention to detail on the bottom of the sandals where you have this kind of design on the sides as well. And then moving up, he's got some type of loincloth garb going on with the brown and the purples. Moving up to the torso where he's got this kind of body harness with this big, huge shoulder pad, which re looks really cool. He also has a helmet, traditional Gladiator Hulk helmet, and definitely has that likeness to Mark Ruffalo's Hulk in his face. I think this face uh, portrait looks better close up than the Thor does. Both from a distance look good, 
But like I said, the smaller scale, the more affordable nature of these pieces, it, it does lack a little bit of detail in the paint and the face. But it looks good enough. Huge hammer. I like this hammer with these like four, I don't know what you want to call them, pistons on each side. Very like landfill looking weapons made out of trash. I always kind of like that look from this world. Definitely a dense, thick Hulk, man. Like his back and his chest, even like his neck. Look at his like traps, look crazy. He's got like the tats going on, on on his right shoulder up into his face. So that's pretty cool. Make sure you guys check out the Thor review I did, but uh, we'll take a look at what they look like together. Right, guys that's it like I said we are almost at 90,000 subscribers that sounds so crazy and we're gonna do a big giveaway once we hit the milestone we're gonna give away this Supergirl premium format by Sideshow Collectibles all you have to do to enter into the giveaway is be subscribed to this channel and comment on this video I've promoted this in a handful of videos since we started the giveaway so what we're gonna do is once we hit the 90k I'm gonna pick a random video use a YouTube random comment generator to pick a winner which can be worldwide, doesn't matter who or where. So your best bet is to comment on as many videos as possible because you never know which is the one that I'm going to choose. But that's all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think about the Diamond Select Gladiator Hulk in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.